Charlene, and welcome to Lunch with the Finance Bunch, and we're on Dash Talk Radio. Dash Talk Radio. I feel so privileged today. I'm in the middle of two very handsome young men, Matthew on one side. I was about to cut in and be like, I'm the, I'm the real, real, real cute one. Whatever. <laughs> and our guest, Matthew, be nice. Our guest is Nico Sabato. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, we're Thanks so happy to have me. you here. Of course. Of course. We couldn't wait to have you here. I've heard so much about you. And I've looked at your Instagram. And uh-huh, uh-huh I've been checking you out. <laughs> you got a lot it's, going on. Yeah. It's, you really it's do. been really good so far. 2017 has been really, really blessing. Nico's nice. popping out here. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Now, Nico, this is your first time on the show. Mm-hmm. So just take a minute to tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Nico. I was born in the Philippines originally, okay. raised in Oklahoma. I'm an actor, model, singer, and um, living life and just having a great time every single day and just in, inhaling like what life is about. Yeah, and the first <clears throat> right decision you made was coming to L.A. Because mm-hmm. it's cold in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 20 <laughs> degrees right now. Exactly. Ooh, uh, yeah, I talked to man. a lady in Kansas, and she said it was 23. I was talking to her this morning on my way here. Mm-hmm. She said it was 23 deg- degrees. I said, oh, I don't want to be you. No, yeah. I don't envy you at all. At all. Like, it would rain, be and it's yeah. just ice. It's just I'm sorry, I'm not talking crap about Oklahoma, but do not <laughs> live there at all. Not, not in the wintertime, no, right? No. People in Oklahoma, we love you. Exactly. <laughs> I just like living someplace where you can kind of have weather on demand. You know, like I have to go to New York tonight, and so I'm praying wow. for favor. Like I'm saying, you know, God, I'm one of your favorite children, I think. So can I have some good weather while I'm in New York? Yeah. And then I'll be back home on Monday, right? So, <laughs> And then whatever you do over there after that is okay with me. Yeah. But can I have some good weather? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. East Coast in the wintertime is tricky. Midwest, too. Now, Matthew. What's good? Um, you know, I know you have a lot of questions for Nico, but can I get a couple of my questions in first? Go for it. Okay. Go okay. So, I'll let you finish. Okay. So this is the obvious. You look a lot to me like um Bruno Mars <laughs> does anybody tell you that um every day really <laughs> yeah really? Just, people would yell sometimes and um yeah some they just throw off like hey you look like Bruno Mars do you sing and I'm just like yeah I sing and then they would laugh and just walk away it's pretty funny <laughs> it's like but I really do sing I really do <laughs> yeah right? I really do sing but I'm not like trying to imitate them I just right. somehow has the Filipino genes of singing so. exactly <laughs> That genetic lookalike. Mm-hmm. Now you you sing, mm-hmm. you're an actor, mm-hmm. and you're also a model. Mm-hmm. So you're like a triple threat. Yeah. So now, if you, <clears throat> I wouldn't ask you to choose one, but do you have a favorite? Like, uh, what do you I would, like doing? It would the most? be acting. Acting the most. Mm-hmm. Why? Because okay, singing could be like taught, and it could be you know it could be a blessing too. Yes. Be singing, and then modeling. Yeah, I mean, your looks can only go so far. Exactly. But acting, I believe that it's, um, you have to study individual or characters. You have to get in there. You, you would learn. You learn more. You have to study and learn and engulf all that. Um, let's say you're trying to play a policeman. Yes. So you have to actually do a research for background and just really inhale that. Like right, character. like submerge yourself yeah, submerge in it, right? Yourself, you know? And actually become that. Yeah, and then yeah. you also, the good thing about that is you learn about the character and what they do. And then yes. you actually um, realize you're like, okay, even though I'm an actor and I'm, I'm doing like um, acting and imitating, mm-hmm. I'm also learning about, like, let's say the policeman's role. Right. So when you submerge yourself in a role, and I'm glad you brought that up, it actually helps you be more empathetic or realize some of what a police officer yes. would be, so right? What, yeah, so you, you can see, see better their mm-hmm. side. Okay. Yeah, we all need to be um, try to be police I mean, officers so we can see their side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, right? especially what's going on. Exactly. Like, what's going on today. a whole lot of heat for all of yeah. right I mean, now. You know? Yeah, that's and very I, true. I just saw the movie Detroit, uh, Catherine Bigelow. Yes. And uh, I don't know about the story about Detroit back then, but now... Uh-huh like watching a movie and seeing how she portrayed the whole film about uh, racism and yes. 
that's amazing. Like, yeah. that's right now other... it's still going on. Exactly. And there's a different form. Exactly. People ignore it and just be done with it. Right. But it's the same. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same <clears throat> message, just different people, mm -hmm. you know? But I think that the thing about film that I love and the thing that I admire about actors is that you can transform to a period of time mm -hmm. and make that real mm -hmm. and get into characters and bring them back to life so you can have a glimpse into what may have been what life would have been like at that time. Yes. And then you can reach into the future and do the same thing, yeah, right? Because I love yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> I love Star Wars. I'm not going to lie. I circle. have never seen any Star Wars. Though. Really? <laughs> really bad, right? Oh, wow. Yes. Look, you're going to have to come over and have movie night and we'll have to watch like two. When and where? Let's exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'll make the popcorn. I have a snowball machine. I'm do I do. I have a hot dog machine. Snowball we can machine. do this. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Have a movie you night. popcorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> movie and chill. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Now, what's the favorite role that you've played so far? Um, It would be a deaf uh, person. Oh, really? Yeah. An emotional deaf person who... who um. I did a film, one of my first booking was, and like, it was a, a short film for USC thesis film. Okay. And I had to play like a deaf person who only communicates through drawing. Ooh. And it was like, it was very emotional and right. very like, because for me, when people know me, I'm very just like, um, just happy, outgoing and stuff. Right. But. I never submerged myself to being like very like depressed or anything. It's not yeah. like nothing or negative. Just yeah, just to like to. just just to see that life. Right. Like we were talking about the policeman. Exactly. And then I submerged my I submerged myself into that character. So, and then I wanted the scene in the elevator when I was trying to communicate with this pretty girl that I've always like seen in school. Right. That was one of the scene. And then she just like always neglect me. You know, you always get like. Um, just no, no. Right. Yeah. And the film, did you send her pictures every day? Because that's what I would have did. I'd have been like, <laughs> you know man, what? I'm about to create you a work of art every day. You're going to notice me. Yeah, you're going to notice me. I, I should have done that. I should have done one of my research within that. But <laughs> in the scene, she was just like, stop stalking me, which I wasn't because I couldn't communicate. She wasn't right. really like, she was like one of the, of, like the hot girl. So. Oh, okay. And then one of the scene, I ended up crying in the elevator. Oh, wow. And then it was just like to push through. And then just so when you good. get to it's that depth of emotion, I love talking about actors because I don't know how to do that. But when you get to that depth of emotion, do you have to bring yourself back? You know uh, what I mean? Like, because you you kind of go someplace, right? Sometimes like you get very deep of it. Right. Um, actually, that was my one of my first experience going through that level. Mm -hmm. And uh, throughout the whole day, I was kind of down. Wow. So it's kind of like getting into that zone. You're just like, all right, just sad, sad thoughts, sad thoughts, negative, right. negative. And then you can't express yourself verbally. Mm -hmm. You have to do everything just, through pictures. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that's very limiting. Mm -hmm. Right. Do wow. you find yourself when you um, take on the role of a character and you're studying that um, you'll live out like the lifestyle of the character throughout the entire day? Yes. Or? I end up like it, it drags on mm. and then I need to cheer up myself somehow. But right. it'll just keep pulling you back because you're just like, I've been doing research about the sadness and depression and wow. uh, melancholy. And you're just like, all right. I need <laughs> wow. I'm yeah. like, it's time for me to go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you look at the beach, you look at the ocean, you're just like, all right, this is getting more sad. <laughs> you know? Right, because it's a little so too whatever, calm. So whatever, yeah, well, it's too calm, you're just too relaxed. But. So you should do the opposite. Like, oh, let's go party tonight or something, right? Go dancing. Then Drink next strong, you know, you know, tonight. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next thing hey. you know, you're drinking and you're thinking about your ex. You're just like, oh my God. <laughs> this is going down and downhill from here, guys. So you have to wait, wait. <laughs> so you have to sleep, go, sleep go to sleep, sleep. through it. Yeah, I just wake up the it. next day, new person, back to yourself. Yeah, I just, I, eat, I just eat my favorite bowl of cereal and just sleep. That's it. <laughs> okay, we were talking about breakfast earlier, and I had a very healthy breakfast. I had a protein shake with fruit in it. And Matthew? I had a very healthy breakfast as well. I had Pop Tarts with fruit in it, strawberry. <laughs> hey, now, I don't fruit think that's healthy. fruit. <laughs> Antioxidant. I don't know if that's real fruit, though. Exactly. There might Just be some preservatives in there, but that's all good. <laughs> Never hurt nobody. Like a, like a paste. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nico, um, you love acting, mm -hmm. and you're also a model, mm -hmm. right? Now, in modeling, like, what do you have to kind of get into character with modeling, too? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat? Like, you have to kind of 
be very confident, mm -hmm. be very standing up and um, just be very like committed to it in right. a way. I mean, I feel like you. Every job you have to do, you have to be committed on everything. Oh, absolutely. You know, give it your best. Yes. And if it fails, do it again. Yeah, yeah. But I admire <clears> the <throat> fact that you you've chosen, you know, like three areas that you obviously do very well in, and you didn't limit yourself to one. You are developing and have developed all three. Mm -hmm. You know, so you said, I, you know, you love acting and you're developing that. And then the modeling, you know, you you like you like that, so you're doing that. And then the singing is a, obviously a God-given talent that you have taken to the next level, right? Yes, but at the same time, you have to practice. Like of that course. was just I. My secret was I was on YouTube and I got really addicted to singing, uh -huh. and I would just imitate voices. Like, okay. Uh, um, like riffs and runs. Right. And I listen to a lot of gospel singers too. Oh, and yeah. I was like, how do they control their voice? Yeah, because they are research the on it just like kings. acting, right? Because you know they yeah. get the high notes, but their levels yeah, can just right. Right. Control. exactly. There's can people who can like sing, mm -hmm. and there can people who can sing. Yeah, sing. yeah. And I'm just exactly. like, I want to be like these guys. <laughs> like, how do I do this? Just constantly on YouTube, just like uh, looking at vocal warm ups, how to like control pitch and stuff like that. And just, wow. Yeah. So with every work, you know, every area of your work. You do the work. You do the research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and put and in study. Time, put in put time. In time. And, study, yeah. and I think that's something that's missing. I think um, sometimes people think you could just, you know, wake up and you go, okay, I'm handsome, I can sing, and I want to act, and let me just go do it. And no, no research behind it, nothing. And to be successful, you have to work hard. Is the point? I have to keep working. Got to yeah, grind nonstop. Grind. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. almost have to be a student of the game. That way, it's like you're. It's a learning process for mm -hmm. you all the way. So it's the process. You're constantly evolving and trying to be the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. Yeah, you always have to compete with yourself. Make yourself better. Like definitely every single day. Um, now, who's your favorite actor? Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, he's one of my favorites too. Mm -hmm. But I like him because he's a great actor, but also because he's very cute. Like, why do you like him? <laughs> so you have biased reasons. <laughs> uh, yes. He's like, I like, I like him on Titanic. Right, exactly. Right. Now I like his talent. Right. <laughs> he could save me on the boat. He could save me on the boat. That is very funny. Yes. Yeah. So why Leonardo DiCaprio? Um, I watched this movie, Basketball Diaries. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's probably okay. one of his best yes. work out there. So I was like, at his age and at his like acting talent, I was like, how is he doing this? Right. So he was just like, you know, I'm pretty sure he's doing research and um, getting uh, taught like how yes. how he can pursue or, or how can he express his feelings. Yes. And then I watched the BTS of that um, behind the scene of that uh, movie. And behind the scene, he would actually talk to the director, he's like, can I try this? Can I try something different that's away from the script? Okay. So it's something that he's taking risks on his own. Right. Mm. So that just kind of like, like sparks in my mind. I was right. like, oh, wow. That's kind of like the, you. Yeah. Like you pursue something and then, you know, like take it and say, hey, I'm going to make this my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try so this. He, yeah, right? he definitely just very creative with it. And um, I watched a few of more of his films and I was like, man, I love this guy. This guy can just bring it out. Yeah, you know? yeah he'll never, he's he will never fail to perform on any movie. Like yeah, because all his movie, you're like, like damn, right? It's really, good. really because he does that research, yeah. Yeah. right? Too, and like, then he does a really good job of picking films that work best to his uh, uh, yes, his, skills his skills and strengths. You know, that's another good question, and we're gonna ask that question when when we come back. Okay, you know, how do you pick? When you're an actor, how do you pick roles that really speak to you so you can do the best job at it? So we're mm. going to be back in just a moment. My name is Miss Charlene, and you're listening to Lunch with the Finance Bunch. And we are on Dash Talk Radio, and we have Nico Sabado in the studio, and we are excited. <laughs> okay, so we're back. I'm Miss Charlene on Lunch with the Finance Bunch, and we're here on Dash Talk Radio, and we're talking to Nico. And Nico is an actor. He's a model, and he can definitely sing. So, Nico, we were talking about your acting career when we, when we went to break, and we were talking about how does an actor choose characters that best represent them so that they can um, be seen in the best light out there? Um... Like my way, I used to just, whatever audition comes in my way, mm -hmm. I try my best to do it. Okay. Um, but so far 
throughout the audition when I get called back and, you know, pin for a job or whatever. Mm-hmm. I've been getting like angry roles. Really? Which you is don't like, seem like an angry I, person. You gotta let your temper out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like uh, I guess alter ego of like alter me ego. expressing my feelings. Oh, way. okay. And it just comes out really, really well. Oh wow! Yeah. I but can't Nico even picture like, you angry. Babe, and- let's get into an argument right now. No lie, <laughs> actually, one of the audition. Um, what was it for? I forgot what the film was called, but I had to be somewhat like a jock and like angry uh-huh. and bullying. Mm-hmm. And I got in a fight with my girl. And I was like, <laughs> this is just role with playing. this character. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so throughout the whole drive, my 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 eyes were just frowning. I'm just like, dude. And I, I would rethink the things that she'd done so I can just get myself more angry. <laughs> <laughs> and then throughout the whole audition, I went in there. I mean, I didn't book the job, but I did but fantastic. You got all of your- yeah. I went in the room and I'm just the casting director. I was just Ready. One of the just <laughs> person. But. I would be like, babe, when we fight, you're making me a better actor. So keep that, keep that going. Yes, keep it going. She knows. And then she's like, you're stupid. So, but I you mean, can use Whatever everything. works, you right. know? Exactly. I'm trying, trying to express myself. But. That's funny. <laughs> like, babe, are you having one of your moments right now? Okay, cool. cool. In action. <laughs> <laughs> That's my go to. Let's go. I'll give her a phone call, be like, hey, um, I don't know. I'll just make some stuff up to make her angry. <laughs> and then just start yelling. And I'm like, why are you yelling at me, huh? Just go. See, he it. went into character right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have any like do you have any impressions that you do of other actors or anything like that? Do um you, not you actors, but I used to do like Donald Duck impressions. Donald Duck impressions? Because yeah, he's my I can't favorite see Disney. You character. doing that? <laughs> You guys ready? Just okay. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> I want to. I, wanna I really be- can't say the word. I just know how to do it. All okay. right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Make sure That's we got that I'm on still camera. Practicing of like how to say the words, but I love it. Yeah, I actually, I had a Disney audition like a couple of weeks back. She's like, "All right, imitate a um, like your favorite Disney character." And I just went all out. Oh, really funny. that's what's up. I'd be like, I need everybody to be quiet, quiet, quiet. But yeah, I remember um, I used to chase my sister doing that voice. I guess so, yeah. I, she probably scared her. Like, yeah, I was just trying to do like scenes and stuff, but so I guess that, she, it really scared her. Now, how long have <clears> you been working on your acting? So that's a good question for you. Uh, it would be when I like maybe. As soon as I moved to LA, okay. you know, um, I really didn't know what to do mm-hmm. after college. And then um, just moved to LA to just try out New City because okay. Oklahoma, yeah, <laughs> nothing to do. Right. I mean, and what did you go to school for when you were in college back in Oklahoma? I actually went business communication. Ah. Oh. Yeah, something different. Okay. Communication. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to try this out and see if mm-hmm. I can get an agent and stuff like that. So I did research looking for agents. It was tough. It was rough, you know. Yeah. Um, like you know, creating your resume, getting headshot. I didn't know anything. Anything. But the thing that I've noticed with you, and in just in interviewing you, is that the running theme is that you do your work, your research. Mm-hmm. You do your research and you study. Mm-hmm. You know, and so that that I think helps when you want to be successful. You know, I, I just think that that's a great way to get it out here to our audience. Whatever you want to do, I mean, because you were a communications major in college mm-hmm. and you came out here, you didn't have like an agent already. You didn't really know a whole lot of people yeah. in the mm-hmm. business. Right. But you did your research mm-hmm. and you created the opportunity for yourself. And I think a lot of times that's not, that's something that's missing is that we think about something we might want to do, but we don't do the research and we don't put ourselves out there to do the work that it's going to take to get to that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I used to go to like um, library and bookstores and try to find like Asian books and stuff. Right. And just Google it. And then finally I had like one agent and it was like um, an OK agent. Yeah. But it wasn't sending me out at all. You're like, and no, you yeah. got to go. And then I also <laughs> spent like $50 for my headshot. So I don't know about anything about headshot. Right. <laughs> yeah. Through, uh, don't ever do this through uh, Craigslist. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. like, hmm, I can take this photo myself. Right. You're like, selfie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. Um, now that's then, another thing. Do, do Are people still taking like a lot of professional shots? Like, or can you just literally do your own headshots? I don't know anything about acting. It's, so. It depends what you're submitting, but um, like, 
old school like casting directors yeah they would love to see like head professional shots. headshots yeah. okay but some i've went to casting just like hey can you send yourself on a selfie in a car right but it could be like a modeling job or a print job oh, okay or a commercial okay so it depends just, on just get what it's for in. yeah yeah mm-hmm. so now but, is your agent your agent for everything or do you have separate i agents? have several ones okay so you have one for modeling yeah i have one for print modeling uh-huh. and i have one for commercial okay. and then i have a manager oh nice yeah. So they keep you working. Definitely. They should. Yeah, they keep me busy. That's, That's good. He's good. like, you need to keep me busy if you want to get these checks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that is the True, good, though. <laughs> right? But that's the good thing about the entertainment world versus maybe some other things is that the management has to do the work, too. Like, they don't get paid if you don't get paid. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So they have to do the work. So, you know, it's a mutual benefit, and they have to believe in you to push you to know that they're going to get paid on the other end of it, you no, know? So sure. they're not just picking up anybody. No, and it's no. got to be like a help me, help us type of right. situation. Yeah. Help you me, know? help you, help yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If, if you don't yeah. work, you don't get the paid, they don't get paid. Exactly. exactly. And especially like None in the entertainment in, uh, business in general, like, you know, yeah. it's a like super grind and a super hustle mm-hmm. because it's like, as soon as you're done with this job, now you have your eyes set on the next job, you know? Yeah. Exactly. You know, get paid. And it's like a cycle that just, you know, has like a revolving door that just keeps going it and just going keeps and going. going. And for you, how did you decide, um, like, with, throughout all these years of, like, how you land into these, like, modeling agencies and casting agencies that represent you now? Oh, okay. So um, with CSZ, which is my modeling agency, yes. right? um, it was through communication, like, email. Oh, wow. So nothing, like, some of my print agent back then was just like, eh. Like, you know, I said, you don't know. They don't send you out for a couple of months. You're right. Like, mm-hmm. You're like, well, like I need work. Like, yeah. what's right. up? Like, you got my least, photos. At least audition, you know? Exactly. Right. You know? Um, so I finally, like, hit him up. And then just actually, I made, like, a funny lie about it to just nice. get in the door. Oh, okay. I had, I count as acting, so. <laughs> yeah. I wrote them a Whatever letter. Takes. Yeah, I wrote them a letter. Hey, you feel free to use this, guys. I mean, <laughs> it could work. It works on you. It works on me. That's fine. Hey. Um I literally told him like, hey, uh, I was referred and I just put like maybe in your subject, but referred, Mm -hmm. referral to give them a thing to open your email. Exactly. Because they get hundreds and they'll just delete, 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 delete. Exactly. Referred. And then literally your first photo would be like your best shots of like Uh, whatever you're going for. Right. So I had like. uh, Have your money shot ready, people. (laughs) Your money (laughs) shot. I had sports. I have like a nice like inviting headshot and then i don't know maybe shirtless if you do fitness or whatever right and then nico was like look at this six pack y'all sign (laughs) me now (laughs) so what i did is like that would be like the header right and then it'd just be like literally one sentence um i'm still waiting for like a meeting with you okay literally set up that meeting already and i thought it wouldn't work and And it worked somehow like yeah i got an email but hey come in 10 a.m just to meet you that's all you want audition or meeting right exactly and then um from there, yeah. it was. That is so out. cool. So and from there, people you go take on notes. Audition. Yeah. yeah. You go on audition. It's kind of like meeting your agent. So right. it's like you go on audition, you go through the door, show them what you got. Nice. Wow. But getting that inside the door, that's the hardest part. To exactly. Me. To get in there. Mm-hmm. And you did it. And I like mm-hmm. that you thought outside of the box, like referral, like you guys already requested me. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let them think in a way, like. I'm waiting for my appointment. Yeah. And they're like. Wait, did somebody let this go nope. through the crack? I mean, it's so busy in an industry, nobody really checks. Like, oh, wait, right. is this appointment? Hey, um, Casey, can you check if there's an appointment? Exactly. No. They're just like, when They're do we have an open appointment? Other people, so right. Exactly. Because like, okay. yeah. if you have somewhat of like the look they want. They look. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, the rest. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. See, so you got a serious tip on how to get <laughs> into the modeling industry mm-hmm. right here from Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. Try, it can't. It can't hurt. Yeah, and commercials too. Like if you're going for, let's say, uh, commercials, and I uh, try to do open calls. I went yes. for an open call for Daniel Hall. Mm-hmm. Wow. I went through a series of callbacks. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of people in the hallway, you know, constantly going practicing. Right. And then uh, third callback, I was like, I thought I wasn't gonna get called back, and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna look for another one. Right. You know, you have to give your best. Your of course. Right. And then, you know, I was blessing, like, they called me and then for orientation. And I was like, really happy. This is happening. Can you cut that? <laughs> it's okay. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> um, it's okay. But, yeah, that too. So I did a research and tried to get in there, open call, practicing the sides, and then go in and, you know. 
Well, that's important. the other thing I, I noticed is that you got to be able to like overcome rejection. Oh, 90 percent. Right. No, no, because no, 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 no. <laughs> right. And that one. Yes. You're like, oh, I would almost be like, say it again. Yes. <laughs> say it yeah. one more time. Yes. Hey, that honestly, good. sometimes <laughs> when I get a booking, I look at my email just to make me like, OK, I can that. it I says can your book. Keep Pursuing yeah. this, uh-huh. yeah, the book, you know, because there's a lot of downtime, right? You, you got to keep yourself busy. So yeah, I would go back to my email and I'm like, oh, booked it. Call time tomorrow. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. Now, when All you right. have downtime, that's a that's a good one. What do you do with your downtime? I work out a lot. You work out a mm-hmm. lot. Okay, so you I keep yourself, mm-hmm. you know, looking like the pictures, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure. got to stay Constantly. looking like yeah, the yeah, picture. You, you can't go somewhere and eat five donuts because you don't have anything to yeah. do. Yeah. Nico, no. let me see your six pack, and you're, you're like, like, no, <laughs> it's a two and a half pack. No, just one donut, <laughs> one pack of donut. It's solid though. <laughs> <Does it? laughs> it's solid covered. Yeah. So um, there's a second tip when you have downtime. Just stay, working just out. Stay, you got to stay looking stay, the way you do yeah. in your pictures so that when they call you, they don't say. Because uh, it could affect you because that's what some casting wants to see you. Right. Like, when I just certain, uh, send selfie or photos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you go in, you're like, wait, he, it doesn't that's look like you. Like, you. Yeah. You exactly. change your hair color. You have to just that's right. make sure you stay. Stay the same. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because they're definitely yeah. anal about that when it comes yeah. to your look, especially if they have like a specific idea of like the photo shoot or the commercial or movie right. or mm-hmm. project that they're working on. Because it's the lineup. Like it, it might be you and some other people yeah. and, you know, they might have three blondes and mm-hmm. they want someone with darker hair mm-hmm. and you go blonde and they're like, uh, no, got to go, keep going. Mm-hmm. Just keep scrolling. So, yeah. And also read a lot on the side. And then... To watch stay sharp. Films, yeah. And watch, and watch films. films that you like, like say. Yeah. So, um, what was I watching? Oh, I was watching The Prestige with um, Hugh Jackman. Nice. He performs. You guys got to see that movie. What I got to see it. amazing movie. So are we going tonight? I guess. The Prestige. Oh, let's do it. Let's do Pres- it. I want to go to the movies. Mm-hmm. So, oh no, I'm going to New York tonight. What are you talking? You trying to make me you- miss my flight? <laughs> <laughs> <There's> one more. <laughs> <laughs> So now you pursue acting and you pursue, we've talked about your modeling. I want to talk about your singing now because mm-hmm. that's a talent I've always wanted. I have an inner Diana Ross that doesn't get out because I can't sing. So I have to like lip sync. Everyone can sing. But well, yeah, I, I was haven't. Say, you I have a shower, practiced. you can hit any high note you want to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't practiced my singing to the public. So with singing, like you said, you do have to practice, right? And you study have to the do it art. Every single day. You have to do it every single mm-hmm. day. That's... Have a passion for it in a way. Okay. I met a lot of singers who actually in the industry singing, mm-hmm. and they're just like, you have to live and breathe singing. Singing. So that means you sing every day. I try to, like, usually in a car, I just hum. Or okay. I just like um, try to practice riffs and runs and stuff constantly. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then what's your favorite genre of music? R&B. Is it? Mine too. We mm-hmm. have a lot in common. <laughs> That's really cool. Favorite so, singer is Brian McKnight. Ah. One of the best vocalists to ever. He really best. is. He really is. I love him Not too. Not going to lie. Yeah, he's great. He's yeah. Brian McKnight, if you're listening, Nico appreciates you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually played basketball with him for the first time at LA Fitness like a um, few months ago. and I, was I like, heard he's pretty nice in basketball too. Guy can shoot. <laughs> Guy's really? a shooter. Wow. Yeah. So what did you say to him when you first met him? I was like, I'm a big fan of you since like the 90s. You know, keep singing, keep doing your thing. And he's just like, thank you, man. Very humble. Now uh, D up. Yeah. <laughs> Check ball. <laughs> no, he can shoot. This guy can just, he, he has like, like a slow release, but he could like concentrate and just shoot. Oh, That's why I think he made five out of five. Oh, wow. So. Brian McNaught, we found oh, out. Yep. Like, Ten, he's a sharp yeah, shooter. Straight. <laughs> right, so don't, don't get okay. on the court with him if you don't know what you're doing. Not going to lie. Yeah. He's no. open and he got his spot. Definitely give him the ball. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, singing. Now, okay, so I don't know singing ranges. So are like you an alto or a what range do you sing in? It would be like a tenor. A tenor? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to put you on the spot. <clears throat> oh, I knew this. See, I, I'm going to put you on the spot. Nico, this is Nico. the dun, dun, dun yes. moment. <laughs> so you're going to have to sing for us, Nico. Okay. I'm not even warmed up, but. That's okay. Look, you, you'll do great. Okay. I'm your coach right now. Go for it. How, how loud can I sing on this? Oh, it's going to be good. It's a little, just small, right? Okay. <laughs> Baby, this lips. 
can wait to taste your skin. Oh, see, <laughs> see, we should have had him come and shout sing out a to whole Miguel. song. <laughs> yeah, right? shout out to Miguel. That Great was song. really good. Wow, I like it. Okay, so we have the actor, we have the singer, <laughs> and we have the model. Triple threat. <laughs> I want to be your I agent. I love how Nico was like, you know, I'm not ready at all. Okay, how, how loud can I sing? Guys? Right. <laughs> no, because like, cause usually when it, like when I'm singing, like uh, I don't do mics. I just literally just do piano and just and just sing. All right. Yeah, so you can practice your voice singing really, really loud. Oh. But they said if you sing in the studio, it is totally different. Got you. Right. Yeah, because it has to bring it down. Yeah. Right. Because the probably your levels and everything like that. Like have wow. Because right. Yeah. right now I was just singing. I was like, damn, I was leaving to myself. I was like. You could hear like a little, like a little, like hissing in there. Ah, I've never really. Heard, yeah. See, I didn't hear all that. I just heard your beautiful voice. <laughs> I'm like, Thank wow. You. He said he really can sing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So now, for your singing career, like, what are you doing with that? As of now, mm -hmm. it's on a pause because I'm focusing okay. on acting. Okay. But if it comes to like audition, uh, let's say another Glee show or another movie, right? Which is like there's a lot there's a lot of been of like uh, shows and movies that's yes, even singing absolutely you can actually sing so I've been just I'm ready for that. Wouldn't that be the 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 new way of doing things to have people who can actually sing <laughs> be on a show about and that's singing? One really good thing is like an actor is like you constantly have to have like a bag of tricks outside of just yes. acting that you have yeah. and skill sets and talents that you mm -hmm. have to bring it all together because you might get an audition for something mm -hmm. right. and it might be specific towards like, oh, we want somebody that can act and sing. And then you're like, okay, this is my time to shine in the audition, you know, mm -hmm. exactly. versus somebody that can sing that is like, oh, all right, I have to pass this opportunity on by. Yeah. Yeah. I've so, auditioned for Glee several times and it was really close, pinned down. Wow. One of the rules, they had to find a twin. So I'm just oh. like, okay, let's go find a Filipino guy. <laughs> just like me, you can sing. Exactly. And, I'll be uh, right and, back. Yeah. <laughs> and then call back. I saw everyone. You got like, you know, Caucasian, right. African American, different looks, but twin who can sing. And I can listen to them. I'm just by myself. They still called me in right. to sing. But I'm just like, I need a twin. You know what? Maybe after this audition, I'm just not going to go. Because <laughs> it specifically said twins. I'm like. Okay. I so mean, Bruno Mars, if yes, you are Bruno, listening, are we you need busy? you to take a break from your tour so that you can link up with Nico so that, we can audition, just audition for, for the Glee. Glee. For Glee. For Glee. Okay. Exactly. Just do Glee with me and then we're good. We're good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on pause, but your acting has really picked up. Yeah. Acting and um, modeling for sure. And modeling for sure. Mm -hmm. And then like in your print ads, like this is the thing I've always loved about, you know, they get you all dressed up and, gla well, girls, sorry, guys. Too oh, kinda. guys can get you glammed right, up They get too. you all glammed up and they get the hair going big and beautiful and the makeup is just right. And you get in there and you pose for that picture. You know, you just got to, but the angles are so awkward, you know, yeah. for it to look good. Is that true? Isn't that true? <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it depends. Like, I'm sure all is all of us individual person have our own selfie, like, right. angles. Let's not lie about it. Right. We yeah, happy, we you know, know our best side. I know my good side. shots and stuff right. like that. That's all I always Yeah, tell. but sometimes the DP or the director be like, hey, turn your left side. And I'm just like, oh, man. That's the not side is the best side. side. Yeah. yeah, it's like, not, <laughs> yeah. no, I like my so right side. <laughs> you just have to work with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, if they put me on the left side, I would kind of, like, just cheat my body always. Okay. <laughs> always cheat my body and be talking to, like. I don't know. Oh, like, if you've seen some of the ads I've ever shot, you'll right. see right face. I swear. That's <laughs> a secret. So. So you make sure yeah. you get the like right in there. Yeah, they'd be like, Nico, why are you turning right? You know, but I just thought. It's my best it's, side. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> so now, if you, there's a lot of people that are going to be watching this show. And if you had one piece of advice, or maybe two, or three, however many you have, mm -hmm. um, if you had some advice to give them, what would be three pieces of advice you would give? Keep grinding. Keep grinding. Never stop. Yeah. You got to keep hustling, keep working at it, keep working on your craft, um, and stay humble. Yes. Stay humble. Um, I'm a family person, so yes. to back myself up, I always like either call my family or my girlfriend or good mm -hmm. friends. To make sure you express your feelings and make sure they you surround yourself with people who motivate you. Yeah, and who support who what you're trying to do. Yeah, support. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. Just, just stay, stay humble. Focused. Stay focused. Yeah. Don't don't get too. Uh, 
I mean, I kind of fell into it moving to LA a little bit. Um, you kind of get you get to the party scene and like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. try to just stay away from that. Like, put in a minimal. You can right. do it, but just don't like go at it. And next thing you know, you're like, all right, I don't know what I'm doing at LA. You Turn know? up, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, and you know, they like, some people blame it on, oh, I'm networking. No, you're not. You're no, partying. No, like, yeah, <laughs> you're no. not networking. I've seen I'm it. networking yeah. these drinks right now, and I'm yeah. on my fourth one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Red Bull and vodka, you know, <laughs> just networking. Exactly. Chug, 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 let's take a shot. Network, network. Exactly. I mean, you, you know, I've seen it all. So just stay focused and be humble and just uh, always find a way to be creative and uh, express yourself. Yeah. And mm-hmm. stay away from those donuts if you're supposed to be <laughs> I mean, a certain you, size. No, you can have donut here and there. Exactly. But you still this have to one pack look, is solid. It appreciates the donuts. But you just have to donuts. look like you did in you the have picture. To have, yeah, you have to appreciate like right. whatever you... I cheat once a day, like a meal. I would just eat um, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I'm not you like about breakfast. This. You like yeah, breakfast. I like breakfast. That's yeah. my favorite. Mm-hmm. Not and a small you like bowl either. I'm talking about like, <laughs> Get the biggest bowl. The one that you see. Bang, the mixing bowl, bowl the right? Yeah. Yeah. The mixing ladle. bowl. I use a, yeah. <laughs> a soup ladle. Like. That's funny. We need more milk. Yeah. Regular milk. By the not gallon. Not 1%, 2%. Regular. Oh, he said whole milk. Oh, so <laughs> you, you go in. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, do it right. If you're going to cheat, do it right. Right? Yeah. So, Nico, you know, we're going to come back in a little while and we're going to ask you some questions that are finance related. Mm -hmm. These are highly, highly, highly financial questions. So get ready. Oh, let's do it. (laughs) I'm Miss Charlene. This is Lunch with the Finance Bunch. And you are listening to us on Dash Talk Radio. Dash Talk Radio. And we're back in the studio. I'm Miss Charlene and we're on Lunch with the Finance Bunch at Dash Talk Radio. And we have in the studio with us the wonderful Nico Sabato. Hello. Hello, dear. <laughs> Nico, you got to let them know you're the one and only. The, the one, one and only. only. Nico yes, Sabato. Yes. N-I-C-K-O, by the way. Not N-I-K-O or not N-I-C-O. It's N-I-C-K-O. Don't get it wrong. Mm-hmm. And don't get it twisted. No. no. <laughs> Singer, actor, model. Pursuing a lot of acting right now. Mm-hmm. So, what's the next portion of the show that you uh, want to gear up towards? The balance sure? sheet. I want to talk about finance. I want to talk about money. I want to talk about his paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> Off the record. <laughs> yeah, on the record. <laughs> on the record. Okay. So, what is the most memorable paycheck you've ever earned? We don't need to know the amount. Okay. Just the most memorable one. But you can't flash the amount if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it would be um, I booked a McDonald's National. A commercial, yeah, but it and was. He was like, ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. <laughs> Not on set though, because I had to drink those smoothies about 14 hours straight. Ooh, wow! And I was sugar high. For 14 <laughs> oh my hours. god! Bouncing but, off the ceiling. Yeah, it was. It was good. Um, you know, got the checks and stuff, but they cut it early. Uh, ah. Yeah. Yeah. So you I were know. like, oh. Yeah. Kind of like a ride. Yeah. But um, that would be the most memorable because I was like, okay, this would give me a financial set to not work a second job, uh, take acting classes more and just get into it and take vacation for sure or like visit my family. I mean, I still did some of that, but it wasn't extended. Extended how how you want it. Yeah. Right. But it's also good because, I mean, when, you know, when you do a national commercial, it's like the reach and volume of people that you're able to, you know, see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with familiarity of your face is really, really good. But it was funny. It was like a quick two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no seeing. <laughs> You're like, that's another Filipino guy. That's <laughs> <Nico>. like, oh. <laughs> it's a different guy. <laughs> but that was the most memorable because I was so hyped and just like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And then I was like. You're like, excuse me. Yeah. This was supposed to run for yeah. a year. Exactly. <laughs> 13 weeks, 13 13 weeks later. 13 weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. But it's memorable. It, yeah, it was memorable. Right? <laughs> Still laugh for this day. I'm just oh, like, <laughs> okay. That could have been. It's moving on, moving on. Yes. And it, in that vein, I'll come back to that. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the one purchase you regret the most? Ooh, this one is a good one. Yeah. You definitely started smiling. So he's yeah, like, ding, 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 ding. I've already thought about it. Um, <laughs> do you guys remember the hoverboard? Yes. Oh, when yes. it was like hyped up. Oh, yeah. Yes. It was like oh, $800. No. Yes. You bought one. I bought one, played with it for about two weeks a month. And oh, just now it's still goodness. sitting in the corner. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Untouched. I should sell it, but now it's like $100. Right. Man, that's when, it, but it's good because Christmas time is probably somewhere around the corner, so you can just re-gift it. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about you. Uh, <laughs> I like your idea. You know? Re-gift it. Yeah, yeah re-gift somebody it. Love my, it. 
yeah i mean my Niece, nephew, younger cousins cousin. like it yeah for sure i'd be like here you go it's not brand new but they'll be like yes! it was worth 800 dollars. exactly <laughs> the so time. now i'm your favorite cousin yeah right? no but i used it for two weeks just like you know it's just so fun and then got it to the fab of like you know the yeah. instagram because they were promoting the crap out of it yes oh, they were it was i was like this everybody, is everybody way, had yeah. one everybody had one and, and then i was like must have item for a while yeah, yeah. Must, after two weeks you're just like well that was a bad person <laughs> i was uh <laughs> regretful for sure yeah <laughs> now what does success mean to you happy happy mm-hmm. okay Being truly happy within yourself i like that answer mm-hmm. are you successful uh i would say yes yes yeah successful in a different way does it have to yeah. be financial that's or right it could be financial, but it's just all around being truly happy within yourself and just staying humble. And um, like I said, keep working on it. Yeah. You, if you're, like you said, mm-hmm. if it's challenging yourself or making yourself better every day, definitely, like, definitely. that gives you that abundance of happiness. Or, yes. Or helping other people mm-hmm. for sure. Because in the future, you'll get something back no matter what. Exactly. So always work on being the best version of yourself. Of yourself. Guys. Yes. Code and of the day. Yes. <laughs> Always work on being the best mm-hmm. version of yourself. Is there anything that keeps you up at night? Arguing with my girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's I'm acting. staying in character, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> no, um, now she's going to hear this, so you got to counter that with something really sweet. Um, I love you, babe. There, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, that I love you perfect. writes all wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> um, keeping me at night, like I said, it's still... Um, I still somewhat not punish myself, but I think about like your auditions if you yeah. do well and stuff. So that sometimes see, I overthink of like yeah. scenes and I'm just like, okay, did I do good audition? I should have done this. Sometimes I would ask myself to keep myself up night, yeah. but it's not like. You're not, you're not worried no, about no, 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 it. No, no, okay. Because no. I realized I was like, if I go on an audition, I just literally, you know, perform the best I can, do the best I can. And then literally I saw, as soon as I walk out of the casting director's place, I throw it. I throw it in the trash. Yeah, that's it. I don't look yeah. back. So yeah, you can't. Just delete all the emails and just. So actors, you're listening to this. Mm-hmm. Don't stay up at night worrying about your audition. It happened already. It's in yeah, the past. Yeah. And it either worked or it didn't. And that's just it. That's it. It's not you or some other person who will get it. Like, exactly. You just got to accept to, like, what it is. Accept it, what it is, yeah. Yeah. Well, Nico, you <clears> know what? It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. To have you in the studio with us. And I want you to promise to come back. Yes, for sure. sure. Definitely love to have you back. And for um, to, to wrap this up, what I want to say is that, you know, to be an actor, a singer, and a model keeps you pretty busy mm-hmm. and, you know, disciplined and eating right and those kind of things. And so for those in the audience who are listening to this or might hear this on YouTube or wherever you hear it at on Dash Talk Radio on Tuesdays at noon, you know, remember this. It, acting, it's it's work. Mm. It's work, work. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not just getting up in front of a camera. It's work. Mm -hmm. It's work. As soon as you get that script, it's work work. from there till you're on set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for coming by. Yes. Thank you for giving us some tips on acting Mm -hmm. and modeling and singing. Mm -hmm. And thanks for singing for me. I think that was sweet. (laughs) Especially since she put you on the spot. Okay, warm up and sing a whole song. I will sing 16 bars if you want. (laughs) Yes. Next time. That'll work. As soon as I know, I'll be like, all right, I'm warming up. (laughs) (laughs) Coming here with the heat. Exactly. We hear that. this mic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Nico thank Sabato, you. for coming on. We really, really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. This is Miss Charlene with Lunch with the Finance Bunch, and we're on Dash Talk Radio every Tuesday at noon. So please check us out, and especially this week with Nico. Yes. Indeed. Thank you. Matthew, that was a great interview. Did that you learn anything this week? absolutely amazing. I know. I just learned that I can't eat as many donuts because <gasps> my uh, six-pack is definitely going to fade away. Exactly. <laughs> and I learned that I have to actually practice singing. Exactly. If, so. if I want to release the inner Diana Ross in me. So the more you sing in the shower, the better you'll get. I want to sing in the studio. The more you sing in the shower, the better <laughs> you'll get. <laughs> okay, Matthew. But we did have another great show. No, we definitely did. It was yeah. absolutely wonderful. So definitely tune in and check Please us out. Please tune in and check us out on Tuesdays at noon on Dash Talk Radio. Dash Talk Radio. Yes. I think this is going to be a great one. I do. We're I getting lessons so on acting. We heard singing. We saw him. I mean, he's handsome. 
What more can you ask for? We can also do a good tip of going back and forth now. So, you know, if you ever want to make me angry, I'm just going to be like, action. And it's going to be on and cracking. Don't even try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Charlene. Who are you? Uh, I think I'm Matthew. You are Matthew. God's gift. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, well, join us on Dash Talk Radio at noon on Tuesdays. I'm Miss Charlene. And thank you for joining us.